In this video tutorial, we're going to add a couple of divs uh, to our About Me page um, and um, show you how to position these divs and how to um, adjust padding and margins if we need to. Um, and there are a few little techniques in this, uh, this tutorial that will show you how to um, uh, set the size of divs and uh, use floats as well. So, um, I want to add a, a headshot up here um, next to my name, plus I want to add some content uh, about myself underneath uh, this set of menu items before I start going to these other pages. Um, and so I'm going to get that content from my Moodle class page, uh, which I have happened to have open over here. So here's some content that I can use. Um, and I'm going to hide Dreamweaver for a moment. So I'm going to grab this headshot, just click and drag it to the desktop. Um, I'm going to rename that um, my initials uh, there. I'm not going to take it into Photoshop. I'm just going to use it as is. Um, and the other thing I'm going to do is copy this text that I can use for my page. So I'm going to just use Command C, Control C on your PC uh, to copy that text. And then I'm going to hide Safari, toggle back to Dreamweaver. And now I'm ready to add my picture up here. Um, and you could take it into Photoshop, but I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, but obviously you can tidy up your headshot or whatever image you want to pop up here. Um, and this is really similar to our tutorial on adding an inline image, um, only a little bit different. Uh, and what we're going to do is, with our cursor pos positioned up the top here, we're going to go ahead and double-click on the Insert panel and choose to insert a div tag. And I am going to... Um, this time, I'm just going to add, add it as a class. And I'm going to notice this pop-up menu up here. I'm going to say, I want to add this div after the start of the tag container. So this is a little bit tricky to get the hang of. But this is going to, um, rather than trusting where the cursor is in the page, I'm going to specifically put this um, um, new div tag after the start of the container. So it's going to be inside the container um, and um, but just inside the container uh, up the top here. And I'm going to call this uh, a class because the reason I'm going to use a class um, rule here is that um, I may use this div um, more than just once on my website. So I'm going to um, create uh, a, a class called image holder image holder and click OK and there's the image holder div uh, up there and I'm gonna with it selected while it's still selected I'm going to click on new CSS rule to style it and you can see it tells me that it's going to put it inside the container. Um, so it's styling it as a compound rule. And that's fine. I can leave that. I could, if I wanted to, um, get rid of that and just leave it like this. Notice that the class rule has the period in front of it. Um, or I could pop that back in there. Um, either way, it's going to work. This is contextual styling. Um, meaning that it's going to have a look inside the container. Um, and um, if I wanted it to just apply across the site, I could do this. And I do want it to go across the whole site, so I'm going to delete that. But if you don't do that, it's not the end of the world. Um, then I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to make it... I happen to know that my headshot is 100 by 100 pixels square. So that helps. Make sure that your, the image is the right size um, for your div. So I'm going to do a 100 by 100. 
Um, and then I'm going to say float left. So I want this div to float to the left of the container and click apply. And you can see above there that that's what it did. It popped over, uh, looks like a postage, postage stamp area uh, where I'm going to put my um, image. And then I can go ahead and put my image right in there by going to background. Uh, and I'm going to put it yeah, into the background. Uh, and so I select background category, click, click browse. Here is my image on the desktop. I choose that and then click open so the image is on the desktop. Whoa, what's this message? Dreamweaver pops up a message saying, hey, this file's outside of your root folder um, and may not be accessible when you publish the site. Well, that's right, it won't be. That makes complete sense. If I'm uploading the root folder um, and the image isn't in there, it's not going to be much use to me. It just won't show up. So. It says, uh, would you like to copy the file there now? Yes, I do. So I click yes. Here's the name of the file. It's a PNG file. And I'm going to choose my images folder. That's where I want it to go. And I'm going to click save and click apply. And now you can see my image appears up there um, in my About Me page. Um, and I'm going to, um, I think that's about all I want to do, click OK. Um, and I'm going to select the text and get rid of the text. So now I've got my um, image up here and I'm ready to add my content. Notice, however, that it's, it's, it's kind of pushed up against my um, H1 tag. I'm going to change that to about me. About me. That's more my style. And then, um, so if I hit return there, it might give me a little bit more room, which I, I, I kind of like the idea of doing that. Um, um, it looks a little bit better. I'm going to position my cursor over to the right of the menu and hit return. And so now I'm ready to insert um, the a new div to hold my text for my page. And to do that, I go to um, Insert Div Tag, and once again, it's going to be a class um, rule that I'm applying here, and I'm going to call it Content. Um, and make sure that I put it in the right place. So this time, I'm going to say I want it to go before the end of the container. So I want it to go um, before the end of the tag called container and click OK. All right, so it's at the, at the bottom of my page there. And um, what I'm going to do then is, while it's still selected, go ahead and add a new rule. So I click New CSS Rule. Um, once again, I'm going to get rid of the container part of this, although if it stayed, it wouldn't be a problem. And then I click OK. And the rule I'm going to give to it is um, that I want it to, uh, if I go to box, um, I want it to have five pixels padding all around it. So I'm going to make sure that it has some padding uh, all the way around it there. And maybe I'll add a margin as well um, on the div. Um, and I, I might just give it um, five pixels to the right and five pixels to the left um, and click OK. So you can see the div now has pushed away from the sides of the container by five pixels. And um, the other thing I want to do is I want to go to block and make sure that the text is aligned, not center, but aligned left in the content area. So now uh, that's my content div uh, is aligned left. 
then I simply click OK. I'm going to go back to my Moodle page, copy my text, and go back here and then paste it uh, in there. And so here you can see there's five pixels of padding. It's off the side. Um, and if I wanted to click up here and make it a little bit more snug up to my menu, I could do that. That's not a terrible idea. So here I've got my um, header, my image, my menu ready to go, and um, I've got my uh, text here as well. And just before I depart this tutorial and we move on to the next, I uh, just want to save it and preview it. So I'm going to go to File, Save, and I'm going to go to the uh, picture of the globe at the top of Dreamweaver and click on that. Choose Safari. Um, some of the files have been modified. Do you want to save them? Click yes. And so, um, and you can see here that the preview is not appearing the same way that um, I expected it to. So that's why you do preview. Um, and I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. So to fix this. Um, menu not appearing correctly um, in the preview. Uh, once again, click um, inside uh, my container um, and actually go down to the um, rule, uh, the container rule here. And if I double click back on that again, and I go back to uh, block, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, 1M, just reduce the spacing between those because um, it's a little bit wide for the container and click OK and now when I go up to my browser and preview it click Save. Yes, uh, I do want to save all of that. You can see it fits on that uh, page um, and I can tidy this up a little bit um, and, and certainly feel free to um, work with your menu items, which are probably going to be different than mine. Maybe just my audio is, is easier than uh, my audio page. Uh, give me a little bit more room as well. So, um, but generally the, um, the techniques there um, will uh, give you a nice, simple uh, div page that you can uh, use to create links now to our uh, gallery and other pages that we're going to create.